Hi all, welcome to RN Tutorials on Mechanics of Leads. In this video lecture, I am going to explain about uh, a problem, uh, how to solve a problem uh, which is given on YouTube differential manometer. So that is a simple YouTube differential manometer. So let us have a look over the problem given. Okay, so this is the figure is given. With the help of the figure, we need to find the pressure difference with the given information. So try to read the problem. Here uh, the problem is given as a differential manometer is connected at two points A and B. So like this uh, A and B of two pipes and the pipe A contains a liquid of specific gravity 1.5 while the pipe B contains a liquid of specific gravity 0.9. Okay, so two pipes are containing two different liquids because of the two different specific gravities mentioned and the based upon the height uh, has been taken place in the two limbs of the manometer here we need to find out the pressure difference of the two points a and b here okay the specific gravities are given as 1.5 and 0.9 respectively and similarly the heights are given uh, the central distance between the two pipes is three meters and the level difference of the mercury is given as uh, 0.181 meters and the remaining distance between the that is level of the mercury in the left limb to the center of the pipe B is given as 2 meters. Okay, with this given information, we need to find out what is the pressure difference in between pipe A and pipe B. Here, uh, by observing the figure, uh, where the maximum pressure takes place directly, we can say. So, how can we say means here, whenever we are connecting, we have connected this manometer to the two pipes here where the fall of the liquid has been taken place in that condition maximum pressure takes place and where the rise of the liquid has been taken place in that minimum pressure takes place that means here the pressure acting at a b point that is in a p sorry b pipe is more than a pressure acting in a pipe a okay so that is the analysis we can do here pb is greater than pa so according to the level has been taken place in the two limbs of the manometer we can say that so we try to write the given information and as well as we try to find the densities of the two liquids uh, then the density is uh, important for finding the pressure in the two limbs here so based upon the specific gravity is given we can find out the densities so before that we try to write the specific gravity of liquid a in the pipe a for that liquid the specific gravity assume s1 that is equal to is given as 1.5 and similarly specific gravity of liquid b that is in pipe b is given as s2 is equal to 0.9 okay so based upon these specific gravities we can find out the density of liquid in pipe a density of liquid in pipe b so first try to write density of liquid a that is equal to rho 1 is equal to we can write it as the formula is specific gravity of that liquid into density of the standard liquid so that is uh, specific gravity is given as 1.5 into density of standard liquid is water that is the water density is 1000 kg per meter cube so when you multiply this you will get 1500 kg per meter cube as a density of the liquid which is present in the pipe a and similarly we try to find the density of liquid uh, b which is in the pipe b so that is equal to again assume rho 2 that rho 2 is equal to again we can write the formula as from the definition of the specific gravity as specific gravity into density of the standard liquid that is s2 into standard liquid and that is equal to s2 is given as 0.9 into we can write as density of the standard liquid as 1000 then the va value is 900 kg per meter cube okay so keep these two values aside with the help of this we can find out the pressure values in the two limbs and now uh, we try to apply uh, sorry before that uh, the mercury uh, density also we have to know and the mercury of uh, density of mercury already we know the standard value assume rho the value is 13,600 kg per meter cube okay the density of heavy liquid that is the mercury is given in that uh, manometer and uh, here it is not mentioned in the problem so we need to assume it is mercury only so rho is equal to 13,600 kg per meter cube so now we try to consider the equilibrium condition in the two limbs the constant levels always we get according to the equilibrium of the uh, pressure forces taking place in between the two limbs then we can write we can write it as pressure in the total pressure in the left limb is equal to total pressure in the right limb so first we try to write the total pressure in the left limb with respect to the datum is given in the figure so total pressure means uh, we try to write the pressure of the liquid a present in the left limb 
the pressure acting due to the liquid present in the left limb we can find out with the help of the height value so what is the total height of the liquid present in the left limb means that is 3 plus 2 okay so with the help of this 3 plus 2 height we can write the pressure how much it is acting in the left limb that is by liquid a so try to write the formula is rho g h in the form of rho g h we have to write so rho 1 is the density of liquid a into gravity into height is 3 plus 2 we can write it as okay and that is due to the uh, liquid a and again in the left limb there is a mercury is also there that is heavy liquid so plus uh, we can write it as rho into g into height is the value is given as 0 0.181 so write it as 0 0.181 and that is sorry uh, and another pressure is already there which is already acting in a pipe a so that is pa so plus pa okay so the these are the three pressures uh, acting in the left limb so some of the three pressures will give us the total pressure in the left limb that should be equal to the total pressure acting in the right limb so in the right limb we can say that the pressure due to the liquid uh, that is the liquid b and the formula in the form of rho g h we need to write that is rho 2 into g into h value is here the height of the liquid or height of the pipe from the datum so that is 2 plus 0.181 so that is equal to 2 plus 0.181 we can write it as okay so that is due to the liquid present in the right limb and again already certain pressure is acting pb which is in the pipe so that again we can write it as plus into sorry plus pb we can write it as so now uh, according to the analysis pb is greater than pa so try to write pb minus pa before that substitute the values here uh, rho 1 means 1500 into g is 9.81 into 3 plus t is 5 plus rho means 13600 into g means 9.81 uh, again into 0 0.181 as it is we can write it as and plus pa that is equal to we need to write again rho 2 is 900 into g is 9.81 into 2 plus 0 0.181 means 2.181 and plus remaining pressure pb so now try to write in the form of pressure difference that is pb minus pa is equal to when you solve the problem with the help of the calci by taking the pa to the right side and by taking this 900 into 9.81 into 2.1.1 to the left side it becomes a negative then the value will be getting as 0.8 newton per meter square which is the pressure difference uh, takes place in between the two pipes that is pb minus pa okay this is the answer which is asked in the problem find the pressure difference it is asked so we have determined the pressure difference pb minus pa so when you take pa minus pb you may be getting the negative value according to the larger value and the smaller value condition here so the finally we need to find out the pressure difference so the pressure difference we got it as 0.8 newton per meter square okay this is the way of solving the problem uh, when it is given uh, that is the differential manometer uh, as connected to the two pipes which are at two different levels and one more case also we can face that is when the two pipes are in the same level so in that condition also we can apply the equilibrium condition then automatically we can find the pressure difference of the two pipes okay na? so i hope you understand the simple problem uh, same the thing is we need to apply the equilibrium condition then we need to find out the pressure difference and uh, once again thanks for watching my video thank you all